Welcome to Relationships Through the Looking Glass. You have now entered the in-betweens. The series of episodes between seasons that focus on absolutely anything. I really don't know what might come up in these topics. But what I do know, the content you'll listen to, you'll definitely find something that you can utilize in your own relationships. So sit back and relax let's get started. Hey, everybody. Welcome to episode eight of the in-betweens. Again, this is our series of episodes between season two and season three. And this episode, we are happy to introduce our male addition to the Wonderland team. Oh, uh, we call him Chris. And he's going to go ahead and let us know a little bit about himself. I do want to say, you know, I wanted to get him while I could still afford him (laughs) before his price went up. Really great talent, really good opinions, really good way of looking at concepts and topics outside the box. And will be an amazing fit to the crew here in Wonderland. So go ahead and take it away, Chris. Okay, appreciate that, Michelle. It was a pretty good uh, introduction. Thank but, you. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> now, nah, yeah. So, I'm Chris. Um, I got a couple things that I'm looking to start up. I know starting. I've been talking with friends and family. We've been in discussions about starting a podcast. Um, for probably about a year now, and also, um, because they always say like my thoughts and like the way I think about stuff is different than everybody else. I know everybody said that, but I know like my thoughts and the way my mind works. And I like to say, like to give my insight on stuff and people may not agree with it at first, but they listen to it long enough and they still may not agree, but they have come to an understanding of it. So like I said, I just want to have my, have a platform where I can discuss these things and have just the open conversations, especially the difficult conversations that people really don't want to talk about and they talk about it maybe behind closed doors, but maybe have a forum where people can feel comfortable talking about those type of things. Um, also, for us, um, on the some of the things I do, um, the Total Body Nutrition Club that I'm part of, um, where we do protein shakes, um, meal replacements. I'm also becoming a certified trainer, having personal workouts. And one of the things I'm going to start is the BYOB Um basically lifestyle a method where BYB, BYOB is normally, you know, bring your own bottle. Um, but also me and my homeboy talked about it, just saying like, be your own boss. Like where we're going to just start just working for ourselves, doing our own thing. And also far as with me training is going to be the build your own body. So just working with people, training them and just getting them the body that they want versus people saying, Hey, I want to look like this person, that person, you can build your own body. So there's just a few things I got working on right now. Just a few. Just a few. Not a whole lot. That's just, that's, that's just uh, a few. No, Something some slight. Something slight. So it, exactly. And one, of the, and one of the reasons why I was like, let me let me tap in before I can't, can't tap in. So I'm glad. Like, I'm glad. I'm glad it's to see your vision. I'm glad to see how your vision kind of correlates to what we're doing over here. Um, in Wonderland, because we are all about not following into the norm. And like you said, not the body that people think you're supposed to have, but what what's right for you. Um, so, yeah, we're excited to have you. And I'm super excited to get to the questions. Um, Keisha has joined us. So, Keisha, come to the mic. Let us know how you're doing. How have you been? I mean, it's been a couple of weeks since we've all been able to connect. So, Kind of fill in the listeners on what's been going on on your end. Well, hello, everybody. Um, Things have been going pretty good. Um, I've been on overload with my family for the holidays, and I'm grateful to have a quick little break from them. But um, other than that, things have been going really, really good. How y'all doing? We're doing good. Uh, We're trying to get Nicole 
on the on the stage she's having some uh, issues but you know how i am with time so we're going to keep pressing ahead um while i have you uh keisha just a quick question you know we covered a lot of stuff last year a ton of stuff so i have two questions for you one what was it or what type of things or maybe just one thing if you had to pick one major lesson that you learned doing the podcasting, do, going through these episodes, what would be that main lesson you learned from the episodes we did last year? And number two, what would be something you learned about yourself by participating in these episodes? So two things, what did you learn just from the content, content on the episodes? And two, what did you learn about yourself last year just participating? Um, well, I've learned that men are super sensitive and really they're looking for the same things that we're looking for too. Um, one of the things that I've learned about myself, um, it was an episode we did about the red flags, uh, green flag, red flags, all this stuff like this. And I learned that, gosh, it's been times that I've given off red flags. So um, I've been, I took just all the information that's been given out during the podcast and just applied it to my own life, especially when it comes down to dating. And um, that would definitely be one of the things that I've learned and have applied was those red flags, being careful not to give off a red flag and um, just being mindful of uh, the other person's feelings and their thoughts because men are super, super sensitive. I've learned. Dang, y'all. She said super duper. And I want to I wanted to note Darius is here with us too. So we have Howdy. another male. Hey, Darius. My favorite Darius on the planet. Hey, Darius. So the only Darius on the planet. Ah. <laughs> it's a new year, so I'm I'm not being as humble as I was last year. So excuse my cockiness. Okay. <laughs> so I want I want to tap into what what Keisha just said. So Darius and Chris and Chris meet Darius. Darius meet Chris. Um, yeah, I, I'm excited to have both of y'all here. But this is going to be interesting. So Keisha just said she learned that men are super duper sensitive. Chris and Darius, would you guys agree with that statement? <laughs> yes. Only because we don't get a chance to uh, exude that. You know what I'm saying? We're not allowed to be sensitive. We're not allowed to be, you know what I'm saying? We have to be tough at all times. So when we do get a chance to kind of break down, it's kind of over the top. Um, it ain't often because we're not allowed to. But at the same time, we can be babies. We can be, uh, you know, uh, passionate thugs. But at the same time, you know, I agree, but I don't. But at the same time, it's true. Um, I can't speak for all men. Um, I can only speak for myself, so I won't speak for the world. But I believe it's true. Um, sad to admit it, but yeah, it can be. Some dudes are a little more than others. I'll say that. That's a good answer. That's a good PC answer. What you say, Chris? What say ye, Chris? <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I agree with it as well. But I think it's, as a young age, your condition as a, a young boy to, hey, to toughen up, don't talk about how you feel. And so you suppress all of that. And as you get older and you start getting involved in relationships and you don't learn how to do it, or you don't know who you can do it with, because I know with most guys, like you don't want to be openly sensitive and vulnerable with the wrong partner, because then you don't know when, but it's going to be thrown back in you at the wrong time and then it's like well I shared that with you in confidence and now we got something going on you throwing it at me so that's the reason why I mean men are sensitive and I wouldn't say the super duper I mean it could have just left it that sensitive I don't need I think we needed the extra stuff in there Keisha yeah all right the duper like super duper yeah so, yeah like sensitive yeah that's a lot hey I'm telling you we have had some guest hosts on um, the podcast who have really shared, and yes, there's some, and not in a bad way, but you know, yeah, but guys see, there's, there, there's a varying degrees of sensitivity. You got like Ralph President, <laughs> and then you got like Bobby yeah. Brown, you know what I mean? So it's somewhere in between there. Those are my gauges of sensitivity. 
Okay. Uh, All right, I'll I, take that. That's a, <laughs> that's a wide that, you know, that, that's a wide range right there, going from that one person <laughs> to the other. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of different, you know, there it's a lot of degrees of sensitivity out in this world. All, All right, so no keep sweat, no keep sweat sensitivity, no crying. No, Keith Sweat was a beggar. He he was beggar. <laughs> yeah, that's beggar. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, that, that's not sensitive. That's, that's different. Beggar. That ain't sensitive. That's yeah. just that's just thirsty. Is it different, my sister? Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> so what what is something that you learned about yourself? So that's something that you learned in general, Keisha. What is something that you learned about yourself? Um I learned that sometimes I've given off red flags. Like when we were talking about the different flags. And um sometimes I've given them off unintentionally. So um I just learned to be more mindful of that. <clears throat> when communicating with the opposite sex and dating, you know, just not to give off those red flags, especially if it's somebody that I'm really digging. Okay. Okay. And that was Darius's episode. So uh, Darius is, uh, was on the red, the flag, the flag episode. Um, I was on two episodes. Don't get it twisted. Now. Oh, no, 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 no. I know. <laughs> you were. Oh, oh. You were. Well, put me down as a big player out here in this world. I told you, it's a new year. I'm being a little more cocky. I'm saying, no, you absolutely were. I said you were your honorary co-host, right? So what I will say, um, but I just wanted to highlight that the biggest lessons Keisha said she picked up were from the episode that you were on with the flags. As she like, should, as she should, we were speaking hot knowledge. You know what? Hot, <laughs> hot knowledge. I think hot. for me, the two things that I learned or the takeaways that I learned uh, from last year, one was... Um, uh, I guess the lesson about me was I have a tendency to be a runner and I I was not aware to the significance or the the intensity that I've done that in the past. So what it allowed me to do was kind of focus on those behaviors and, and address it. So that was a big thing. Um, the second one that I learned overall was all guys aren't assholes. Like that was so refreshing mm. for me mm. <laughs> because... Coming into this, I was very negative thinking in, you know, most men can't express feelings. Most men aren't able to let you know what's going on internally. And it's just a, the condition of being a man. But what I've been able to learn in just my interactions with everybody that we've had the pleasure of interacting with on the podcast, like there's decent guys out here, you know, two of them are, two of them are here on the on the. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, like there's decent men. Like there's decent men out here. And I think having that giving giving back that that ability to say like not all men are the same. Um and no being an ass is not a condition of being a man. Um that's a good thing. Now, don't get me wrong, most men do have asshole tendencies. I have asshole mm -hmm. tendencies. I absolutely do but not to the point where you can't hold and sustain a relationship. So those were the two main things that I picked up. Now, um, Darius and Chris, you know, what were two things if, if I had to ask, you know, because you guys have poked around and listened to some episodes, were there any episodes from last year that kind of stood out that you learned anything from or that you were able to kind of take back and, and do some inner work with yourself? Mm -hmm. Um, I would say for me, I know the what was it? The ghost, zombie, and oh, pick a love, Darius. He's talking about yeah, the pick a love God. episode. Damn it! I just oh. knew this year was gonna start out without pick a love. So, here we are. <laughs> yeah. So it's just like learn, like listening to that um, episode, and then getting other people' perspective on it, and then I just realized, okay, I w which one I am or which one I've been and people I've dealt with that fell under those categories. So I just, it was pretty good listening to other people, perspectives and the ideas and mindset on that. So Chris, which one are you? I mean, since you're bringing it up, inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> which one am I? Yeah. Um, I would say <laughs> most, um, I would probably fall under the ghosts. Because like when I mean I was gonna say if that, I'm rocking I'm with really you, like that. I'm rocking with you, but 
once I'm not, then it's like it's not even. I'm not even gonna give you a reason why. It's just like one day I'm just not answering the phone, not I'm responding to messages. Like that's just what it is. I don't purposely do it, but I know I've done it in the past. Here the day, mm. God the day. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> wow. Let's let's let that sit in. Let's let that sit in. Let's marinate on that. Mm. Everybody, all right, ladies there. listening. Anybody who's Ooh, uh interested cold. in Chris, just, you guys have just been put mm. on notice. I'm just yeah, saying. So cold. Wow. Uh, I mean what so but I also think daddy. that's the mind yeah, yeah hey, that, that's the mind frame I was in. Like, I mean, look, man, motto used to like be I'm here. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. So I let you know up front that oh, hey, one day I might be gone. <laughs> so I got a question, Darius. No. I got a question for you. I got a question, Darius. Do you ever huh? do you ever circle back? Like no, that's Chris. That's, that's Chris. 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 Ooh, nah, oh, a, Chris. Do you ever circle back? Like down the road, you kind of have a moment. It's like you know what? I wonder what old girl doing. Do you ever circle back? And why? If you do. Mm. Um, no, I don't circle back now. They may come spin the block back on me, but uh, I don't circle back. Like, no, I got to keep it moving forward. Like, I mean, I, I, I won't lie. I'll be up front. It, does, it is times I like going through my phone and I'm like, oh, man, like I should reach Seeing out. Ideas, to like, so. no, I can't I can't do it. I can't do it. Like, I can't bring it to myself circling back. And nah, that's not me. <laughs> wow. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. It is. We're going to sit there and let mm-hmm. marinate on that as we jump yeah. over to Darius. So, Darius, <laughs> <Huh? laughs> what what episode stands out for you or that you took away anything that you learned about or it allowed you to kind of look internally about anything that you've done? Uh, well, I'm not going back to that episode, so we can scoop that one. You love uh, that episode, though. You love it. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh-huh. The pickles. Uh, How can you not? Sure, whatever. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, so my episode that I like was actually, um, there was a couple. Uh, I'll have to go with Red Flags, not because we was on it, just because there was a lot of insight in it, even if we wasn't there. Just, you know, people not knowing what Red Flags are or even being oblivious to them. Uh, that was one thing. Um, I guess I do got to go with the ghost one because that was, I already knew about that stuff, but it was still interesting and a great conversation. Yeah, like in 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 the new terminology, imaginary friend. I think for me was um was the big one, right? You thinking you are dealing with a certain individual, or somebody has given you a false narrative, and the more you get to know them, it's like, whoa, you're not the person who presented themselves in the front That's at all. A lot of people said they date representative, right? Don't realize that like when you meet somebody, you're not meeting that person per se. They made up this character in their head like this is who you're going to be until I know whether I can trust you or not. Or they just could be filthy ass liars and that's just who they think they are in their head. So that's what they're going to pretend. Right? And those are the scary ones. Like, who are you? Those dudes who had some weird ass representatives. I was like, man, brother, you would lie. (laughs) (laughs) Who are you? Like, I don't even know you. I've known you 20 years and I ain't never met this dude till you met this girl. That might be a mental health issue, though. Right? <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, no, he was just a pathological liar. Yep, and they're out there too. They're out there too. You gotta be careful. Um, so yeah, last year was last year was pretty outstanding. Um, this season coming up is going to be just as fun. It's going to focus more on healing versus the trauma, though. So I'm excited about that. Um, but we're going to get down into the nitty gritty of who's most likely. So. We have oh, myself here. We have Keisha here. Um, Nicole is here in spirit. Um, so what we're going to do is Chris is going to throw out some questions, and we're going to answer what host is most likely to do that said thing. Um, and then whomever is going to be the majority rules. So even if I don't agree, if more people said it's me, then majority rules. So because what I also have learned is you might think you know how you are um, received to people, but you you can have a serious blind spot and you're not received that way at all. So we're going to have uh, Chris go ahead and start with the questions <coughs> and we're going to answer them. 
<laughs> as honest as possible. Oh. Yeah, this is going to be fun. <laughs> All right, so we want to start off with like how we want to start off because I mean I've been looking whatever. at the questions and you can pick whatever right, you want. All right, or if you want to throw it. some random ones in there, you can do that too. <laughs> okay. <Nah. laughs> mm. All right, who is most likely? No, nah, oh, hold up. Yes, all right. Who's most likely to have a one night stand? Ooh, ah, spicy off top. Dang, you could. Like, to, he's even in this one tonight. Like, <laughs> at what point in life? At what point, you know, like now or in the past? Ever. Ever, ever? yeah, ever. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Inquiring so minds want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all brought the wrong dairy into this one. I'm gonna put the question to <laughs> answer, please. Ooh. No one is like <laughs> it. Ain't me. It ain't me. You I'll say that. It, mm. It's always the girls up in the castle, and you know she's the castle girl. Well, okay. hold on. <laughs> mm. that, is, that is not Keisha. Yeah, they go that bus. <laughs> Do you right under the bus? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Without hesitation, she saved okay, herself. Let's say Nicole. Let's say Nicole. We'll, we'll give that. Oh, that you mm -hmm. wrong for that. Nicole can't mm -hmm. defend herself. She can't defend herself, but oh. hey, that's that's how grimy this game is. Next question. This is a grimy game right here. <laughs> we want another question. Woo! That was nasty. Mm. That I'm, was a good one. <laughs> that's how you start a party. You know what? Ooh. I'm gonna go with Chris. Chris, it's Chris. That's who it is. Yeah. Mm. Hold on, it's so? yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. You like how I threw yeah. that right back around. We gonna it's Chris. <laughs> Spit the block on oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got no answer though. He, he ain't got he quiet. He's quiet. <laughs> I'm just look. That was a Mack truck. No. You know, He's he's blushing because he's like, damn. Oh, no, yeah, I'm but just, like he no, cheesy no. through the phone. You know, sound like, I did. <laughs> sound like Soldier Boy and Bow Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, whoa. see that's that that pause that. Is that delay? That was, that's uh, delay. Look. He's looking for an answer, but it ain't coming fast enough. He's like, oh, oh, hold on, let me think. <laughs> Is that delay? That's all right. Since shit falls. Mm. Mm. Yeah, next question. <laughs> all right. Well, all right, look, man. All right, we ain't, all right. Who's, who, who's most likely to be a stripper? Ooh. Oh. Keisha. Oh. Keisha. Oh. Damn. No. Keisha. No, Michelle. No hesitation. I believe you, y'all. I don't know why, okay, but okay, I do. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> If it's a private uh, show for my man, sure. Just me and him. Sure. Just me and him. Not mm -hmm. an audience. Okay, so that was the answer. Keisha. Uh, okay. Private. Private. <laughs> you said what? I'm just laughing at y'all. Next question. <laughs> I'm just feeling nervous. Oh my God. I know, right? <laughs> Don't be nervous. Be careful. Oh, okay. I even, and I'm not even asking the questions. It's him. Y'all, well, if I find the question for you, I'm gonna throw your name out too, Darius. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's? Hold on. Wait. I just saw it. I passed it up. Who's most likely to have a phone vibrating? Um, Who's that? <laughs> Message. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. Not me. Uh, <laughs> How about uh, we bump uh, it, I uh, thought. Uh, uh, I admit, I admit that, that that was me. That's, oh, the, whole that's the whole yeah, line. That's the whole line. Man, that highlight blend. 
There you go. <laughs> it only means one thing. That's that one night I thought, thing. I thought, I thought I put the um. I thought I on the early on, on, on the early side. side. It ain't even. It ain't even like. It ain't even that he got to plan them out. He got to plan them out. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, baby. I'm gonna get done with this thing. It's a UFO. <laughs> it's a UFO. You tell Dorita to be ready about eight uh, and Eugenia you ten. Bothering me at three o'clock. <laughs> Girl, you know my story, Zo. Mm. All right, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, this is easy. One. This is a, is a light one right here. Who's most likely to end up on a reality show? Keisha. Mm. No. no. Keisha. No. no. <laughs> Michelle, what? <laughs> it is. That's for real. What reality show is it? Let me see. <laughs> I believe you it's Keisha. Like, no. Like the oh my gosh, me. It's your no. personality just screams reality TV. Me? Oh. Yeah. People done seen that that video on IG yesterday. Keisha, which one? Yeah. Michelle, you had that one up. You stop it. Oh, but mom was talking about what I'm leaving behind in 2021. You talking about the dang on dudes following you to 2022. You know what? Michelle mm-hmm. picked me up to do Them hanger owners. Yeah, she me. <laughs> she dragged them right across midnight. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Michelle, this is tough, too. Everybody's tough. <laughs> you know what? Oh, boy. I'm not even drinking. All you right, next what? question. <laughs> All right, Chris, we're ready. All right, who's most likely to be arrested for public intoxication? Yeah. Did you, you hear what? me? What? Nah. You think Nicole? <laughs> no, Nicole's pretty chill. I'm going to go with you again. Me. No, it wouldn't be me because I, I can't drink that much. I have like a, my tolerance is low. I'll okay. take it. I'll take this exactly one. Exactly why I'll she might be one. in public with you. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know them lightweights get in trouble first. <laughs> no, I'm not the driver, the designated driver. So. Mm-hmm. I'll take it. Took one for the team. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I, I have. A, I have a pass. So. Don't. <laughs> not I have a pass. <laughs> That was not a part of the question, so we're gonna keep it moving. Uh, about. Oh man, that need to be a question, Chris. That need to be. So that that need to be addressed. You gotta unpack. <laughs> that. To unpack. So yeah, <laughs> what that needs to be addressed. <laughs> Elephant in the room. No, that wasn't part of the question. That was not a two-part question. We're gonna spin the block on that one. She <laughs> mm-hmm. come back to that one. Ah. Mm-hmm. All right, Chris, we ready. All right. Who's most likely to cry at the end of a movie? Oh, wow. Well, no. Gosh, I can be tender at times, but no, I'm going to say you, Michelle. Super duper tender. (laughs) I'll take it. (laughs) I cried during Spider-Man. I'll take it. I cried multiple times at Spider-Man. I'll take it. And at Ghostbusters. I did. Ghostbusters? I I know. Why would you okay. cry Ghostbusters? I'm, I'm, because the, the dude the dude came back from the dead and made up with his daughter and it was so touching. Okay, that's let's not. Spoiler alert. Oh. <laughs> 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 He'll be at your front door. How could you ruin Ghostbusters for us? <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, geez. Next question. <laughs> <clears throat> Who's most likely to fail a lie detector test? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. We gonna throw Chris. 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 You said me? Yeah, I said Chris. Yeah, go. Oh, look, man. Why I said Chris. Hey, I'm trained to lie, so. <laughs> 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 I was born to lie, so. The- uh, <laughs> yeah, that, uh. I, I got just, international I, training to lie. I'm, so. I'm a therapist, so I just listen to the lies. So. Yeah. <laughs> We're going with Chris. Yeah. Oh. Next. So Chris is flustered now. Oh, oh yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Who Who is most likely to kill a person? Dang. Oh, Keisha. Okay. What? Did you say me? Uh, we won't tell them all the 
We won't go there, but yeah, Michelle. It would be Michelle. Real talk. And then she said real talk. (laughs) 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 Yes, it was the real talk that made me believe her. Yes. Real talk at the end of it. You gotta believe her. Oh, yeah. So I can believe and identify her. I think everybody has it in them. You just got to, the, the right circumstance what? has to present itself. See, that, I think that's everybody has about, like, no, that no, sounds... no, no, no. See, that's something you say about freaky women. Like, every girl has a like a porn star inside of her. You just got to bring it out of her. But a murderer? That's not something you should be yeah. proud of having inside of Only murderers say stuff like that. Ah! Yeah, I'm say that. That's, exactly, that's exactly what somebody who will kill somebody say. Yeah. That's exactly what John Wayne Gacy said his last day. He was like, you know what? Next question. This killer inside of all the Next rest. question. Right. Next question. You what gotta find hell? somebody annoying enough to bring it out of you. I'm saying, yeah. like circumstance. Huh. Okay. So oh, okay. we all agree that that's uh Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's uh, everybody. So everybody has it. Without a doubt. Yeah. But, but we said who's most likely. So if her. All right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See, I, I no, I'm not going to ask that question because do it, do it, Chris. Don't no, be scared. Uh, do no, it, uh, do it. Even though she a killer, she ain't gonna kill you. I mean, directly. <laughs> be scared of her. <laughs> Don't let fear ruin your life. <laughs> Who's who? Who's most likely to get an STD? Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Never mind. I should have you ask that question. Oh my god! <laughs> That's not where I thought this was going. I, I know, right? I don't. I, so I don't who do you say was a murderer again? I don't do nothing to catch stuff like I that. Know. <laughs> I'm about to say the day by. Ooh. I'm going to say. <laughs> Nobody. Oh, oh. Chris, Chris is going to go for all Me? Yeah, go. Look, hold up, man. Right, look, man. Uh, I, I regret asking that question. Like, I look, I, I am clean. I am clean. Like, <laughs> I regret you asking. Like, I just, I, I just want to put that out there. I, look, man, I am clean. Allegedly, oh, ladies. Hey, Allegedly. No. Allegedly. Oh, I, got, I got papers. I got papers. Oh, I got my, my papers. All right, girl. Yeah, I got. I got my papers. <gasps> Freedom papers. Oh, Lord. What is happening right now? Next. No, next question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I know I won't be on this right here. Who's most likely to be late to a really important event? Keisha. Oh, God. Oh, she know. She know. She can't say nothing. I'm guilty, y'all. I try really hard. I even Keisha like, would be late to her own talk. funeral. I probably am. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's 100% Keisha. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. I can't fight. Yeah. It. It's, it's me. <laughs> At least I apologize. I try to. At least she honest. Yeah, she honest. Who's most likely? Who's most likely? No, go ahead. You got no, one? I have what I just want to say to her. Oh, just... <laughs> oh, okay. <I... laughs> um, who who's most likely to be a bad best friend? Mm. A bad a... dang. Yeah, a bad best friend. I'll take they... that. I mean, I'm about to say okay, that. There is... I know. I, I, I'll take that I'll one take too. I'll take that. I'll wear that like a badge of honor. Dang. Yeah. Is... Hey, I'm sorry. If if we best friends, I'm a busy man right now. Last year I was busy. This year I plan on even even busier. I don't have time to do the, the little stuff I used to do. And if somebody who tried to do the same stuff we used to do 10 years ago, I damn sure ain't got time for that. I don't want to relive old high school football games, how many girls we used to get at clubs that ain't even open no more. I got time for that. So I'm a bad best friend. If you ain't trying to hang out, you know what I'm saying, talk about making some money or play video games, I ain't got time for it. I'm sorry. I got time for it. At least he <laughs> I'm not is. sorry. He is not sorry. Oh. There's people I ain't spoke to in a while just because I ain't got the time. You got to elevate with me or you're going to get left behind. Hey, I told uh, people to book the left to die. I can definitely agree with that. It. Yep. All right, that was so I, 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 I can't be. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> All right, we're ready. We're ready. What's next? This is fun. 
Oh, <laughs> who's most likely to say the wrong thing at the exact wrong moment? Oh, me. Who said that? Michelle. Me? <laughs> yeah, it would be me. I, I'm, yeah. I'm right along with her. Yeah, yeah. It's probably that Sagittarian influence we got going on. Yeah, it's I don't that, have a filter. It's a Sag. I, my, my, you're, you're a Sagittarius sun and I'm a Sagittarius moon. So we kind of just blunt and kind of just say it. So Yeah, I, I was yeah. born in December, so it was cold. So I came out saying, what the fuck is this? See. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of clueless uh, in certain areas of life, so I would just be like, oops. But there's never any ill intent behind it. I'm no, just. No, no, not at all. Oh, no, no. Not at all. No. <laughs> oh, now, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> unless you get me mad. Unless you get me mad. But I don't have that, to be mad. I just. I I'm a slow it. burn. I'm a slow burn, so. I'm a firecracker. Move it on. <laughs> All right. Who is most likely to spend their money on something stupid? Keisha. Uh, no. Really? <laughs> really, Michelle? Uh, what have I spent my money on that was stupid? If you well, know. it was. It, I, yeah, the the word "stupid" is kind of rough. But I'm on the phone with Keisha many a days on her shopping trips. That is coping. It's positive trips. coping. Trips. Oh, oh my god! Oh, yeah, she got she trips. Oh, you got money, money. Cause I take a shopping <laughs> break. Like <laughs> America, it's I cool. don't have money, money. So don't come looking for me, okay? And I'm not saying it's stupid. I, her stuff ain't stupid. <laughs> She's no. just more of the shopper than myself, and I think Nicole. So yeah, Nicole don't do. Don't, do she? Mm. She doesn't. She hasn't done it while I was on the phone, so I can't speak to it. I can speak to your shopping because okay, we'll be talking while you're shopping. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, Chris, you 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 got you giving us some safe ones now. I feel okay now. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you want to go back to um, the more risque I'm ones? I'm not scared. Bring Get it. ratchet. Oh, okay. Who's making a oh. sex tape? Woo Oh, see? oh, hey, I, there we go. Who's most likely to make a sex tape? <laughs> My bad. I was just joking. Nicole, I'm going to say Nicole. Good idea. Because we ain't saying her name yet. We have not said her name yet. She's a Leo, so I'm going to say Nicole. We're going to say Nicole. Okay. Get it to Nicole. Sorry, Nicole. <laughs> She's going to run this tape back and be like, you... She's going to oh, say yeah. and be like, you evil heifer, but she's a Leo, so... That's what I'm going off of. All right. Who's most likely to be the first one skinny dipping? Michelle? What you mean? No. <laughs> she meant Michelle. That's what she meant. <laughs> you sounded surprised. <laughs> I'm very surprised. What you mean? It, it wouldn't be no. in South Carolina, but she'll do it somewhere else. Oh. oh. What? <laughs> yeah. Hit, hit. Now, listen, if y'all yeah, try to get in the skinny yeah. dip, you got to get out of North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. Take it to the Poconos or the Mickey Nose. Go to St. Croix. Woo! Oh, oh, she, there? Expensive oh, skinny dips. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have to be involved. <laughs> the Thunderbird <laughs> in St. Croix. Ah. Uh, under the moonlight. Okay, next. Bro, she gave y'all hints. Uh, message. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Take notes. There's a lot of dudes right now with their pen and pad. No. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, St. Croix, Thunderbird, Moon, Skinny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't write that whole sentence. It's Cliff Notes. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he 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 made an outline. <laughs> hey, but the triangle, that grills, he got skinny dip on top, and it breaks down. On it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, next question. <laughs> oh boy, next. <laughs> Who, who's most likely to shoplift? Ooh, no, I ain't That's doing it. No, I'm scared. Right there. <laughs> Uh, Nicole still, she don't kill. Nicole goes <laughs> the other way around. Nicole kills, she don't kill. 
<laughs> oh god. Okay, that's where we're going with Darius said it. <laughs> it might be minor stuff. I don't see her stealing like big stuff, like you know, stuff it be stuff she don't need, but she can get with money. She just like that thrill of stealing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Murderers, steal these two dollars. We, we got thieves, murderers. We just <laughs> she can have fifty dollars in her pocket. She'd be like, "Let me just steal this gum to see if I can get away with it." Huh? Mm-hmm. That might be the Leo thing. It's the thrill right. of the chase. The thrill. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Who's most likely to become a drug lord? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Uh, I'm gonna let you have that one, Keisha. No, <laughs> I'm gonna get a little kinky piece. Kingpin is no, no, yeah, yep, yep, yep. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna let would. you have it. I'm gonna let you have the drugs, Keisha. No, no, no. you can have the drugs. It's, it's an inside joke. We know of someone who did this in the past, so um, I know a lot of people. Ooh, Some of us know more, more, know more intimately than others. Oh, oh, oh. we gonna spin the block on that one. <laughs> just in case the FBI is listening, we don't want them to know. <laughs> Next, <laughs> <clears throat> who's most likely to forget the wedding gift to a wedding? Oh, not me. me. I like the shot. Michelle, me, Michelle, me. Damn, all day. Forget my future gift. I'm gonna be upset. Nah, I won't do that. I'll send you a gift card. I'm joking. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. I suck when it comes to wedding stuff. Like, what? What But, like, just tell me what you want and I'll get it. Like, ugh. Yuck. Next. (laughs) It'll be me. It'll be me. (laughs) Who's most likely to have plastic surgeon? Surgery. Me? He should answer that. So she said, because yeah. I'm already thinking about it. So go ahead. All right. Who's most likely to go to work intoxicated? <laughs> Michelle. Is it you, Michelle? Oh, my God. Michelle, y'all. <laughs> I cover it well. I haven't done that in years. I haven't done that hey, in years. Hey, now, tell me. <laughs> About that time, <laughs> you was talking about that time. Oh, long time ago. It's a long time ago. Yeah, that no, one no, drunk hiccup that don't don't have no place in there. But nah, it's it, it's that dead stare that you just stared off into space. Be like, you good? Be like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Carry on. Carry on. That's one. Once. All right. I was about to have a <laughs> I don't think it's been. Who? Laughing? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Oh, oh flashbacks. <laughs> From yesterday. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, give us three more. Give us three more. All right, three. Okay, all right. So this, uh, who's most likely to have an emer- imaginary friend? <laughs> the, the one that was like in the uh, in the podcast or like a ghost? Because I have had tons of imaginary friends in the pod from the like from the podcast. Yeah, no, no, not from the podcast. Just really, this is like a person that only you can see. Jeff Dan Fred. <laughs> yes, yeah. I was I was trying to think of the movie. I couldn't think of it. Oh, uh, maybe all three of us. I don't know. I know. Right? I think. <laughs> I think that goes to all three of us. Focus. I can't do that. It's going to get me in trouble. <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> but he said no. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Next. <laughs> um, who's most likely to get their friends in trouble? Ooh. Chill. Ooh. Ooh. Or me. Darius would be you. Yeah, I'm going with Darius. I've been known to get I've been known to get people in trouble. I've been dipped, dipped a couple people. Yeah. You feel like the instigator type. I'ma say yeah. I'm gonna go with Darius. Instigator? Manipulative, yeah. maybe. Be at the club. Be at the club. <clears throat> you saw how he was done. Yep. 
That would be you. Uh, I've, a few times. There have been times. I've also yep. started some people to do some things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no handprints, no fingerprints, no crime. Keep your hands clean. That's right. not a crime unless you get caught. You says the murderer. <laughs> <laughs> That furthermore lets us know that, hey, you are more <laughs> likely to, most likely to kill someone. Not <laughs> a <guy>. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my bloody handprints on that knife officer. He killed himself. <laughs> I he killed all my knife. The voice <laughs> do it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> This, uh, this the last question. One. Yeah, he's gonna look for a good one. Go ahead. Oh, no, I, I already got it. I just want to make sure it's the last one. Oh, oh, oh. On this one. Yeah. No, so we got we is, got time for two question? more. We got time for two more. So don't oh, don't give okay. us a heavy Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So let's see. <laughs> Who was more likely of being followed by the Secret Service? <laughs> <laughs> Is it you? Yeah, that's definitely now, see, if that question was asked the opposite way. Like, ah! <laughs> 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 and notice I'm just like, I'm just not saying anything. I will not confirm or deny anything. <laughs> okay, so we're going to say it, not say it's Michelle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I shouldn't be the one being followed. <clears throat> sure, you should. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. yeah! Oh boy! Anyone but you. <laughs> <sighs> All right. What's our last question? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Uh, <clears throat> no, it's right here. It's right here. I'm just reading down the line. So, who's most likely to have? Who is most likely to have the highest body count? Oh, it ain't me, Michelle. Bow, 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 bang, 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 shots fired. Let's go. Chris? <laughs> It'll huh? be Chris. It's, what? it's Chris. Chris? Oh, no, it, no, no, no. I am, Chris, oh, oh, no. <laughs> I, am a, I am a Christian man. Yeah, Ooh, those be the ones. It, if you got those to say it. it. I, I am a Christian man. Those are the ones you got to watch oh. for. What you mean, those ones? Those the ones. Those the ones. You heard those what she ones? said. She said those ones. She said what she said. What she said. Yep. Nope. Twice. <laughs> I don't know, man. Be like, I oh, know. I didn't know double digits was a lot. Oh, oh double digits. Oh. <laughs> God, oh, God. Uh. Oh Lord. I thought it was fine yeah. until I got to at least sixty. Oh, sixty. Jesus Christ. I'm just saying that's what that's what I feel Chris would be saying. That's what I feel Chris oh. would be saying. Nah. <laughs> Sixty. This has been so informative. Yes. Huh. Yes. Wow. We we got murderers. Oh, we got thieves. We got freaking uh. What was the other one? We got people got oh, things talking to them. So some serious stuff going on here. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. All right. All right. I am in, in, not in, implicated in nothing. Oh no, we 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 identified you in some too, sir. And speaking of which, as we wrap it up, let the listeners know what you got going on because you got so much going on. Like, <laughs> so 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 tap us in, Darius. Let us know what you got going on, where we can find you, so we can be a part of it. Oh, so this year I'm officially changing my name to Black Dynamite because I realized that DC just ain't big enough for people with the gravity of the things that I have been doing. And like, who likes um, DC? Like, I would have gone with Marvel, but go ahead. I'm joking. Uh, it's a joke. It was already <laughs> taken. So, <laughs> no, uh, this year we just uh, continue the same problem that we've been doing. We finally got our podcast on iHeart app. So, if you go to iHeart, such a what the shit, we are there. Um, so that was huge for me because I've only been doing this for a little bit of time. So to be on iHeart was one of my goals after I realized it could be a goal. So I made it my goal. Oh, oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. No, no. You're in the back. Stop that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. 
Uh, <laughs> no, so uh, last Wednesday was our la- uh, Wednesday before was the last Wednesday without a show. So from here until May 11th, there will be a show from us every Wednesday live. Uh, right now, we're booked up with guests until the end of March. So we got jam packed episodes coming up. Bigger and better each year. I mean, each week, not each year. So that's where I'm at. Uh, just, you know, doing my thing, being tired, having fun, talking shit. Just, you know, the usual. And we love it. And we love it. And it's like, it's a whole freaking uh, production, is what it is. So yeah, I put a lot into it. Uh, yeah, it's a whole production. Like it's like watching a movie. It's like uh, you know, movie. I, I've watched a few movies in my lifetime, so I want to step it up, uh, step up production. I just, I, I was one of those people who, in my head, even growing up, I had an overactive imagination, so I was always trying to do things big and over the top. So when I got into the podcasting game, I was like, okay. A lot of people are doing visuals. A lot of people are doing audio. I want to do like a talk show, like a movie. Like every show feels special and different than the last. Um, and it was just one of the things I got kind of got into uh, producing it myself, editing it myself. Well, not really editing because everything is live. So it's just a lot of planning that goes into it, but it's all in my head. So it's not like I'm writing anything out. It's just letting the show flow and kind of adapting to it. But it's fun. Awesome, awesome, and I appreciate you always supporting us, always sure coming over my, and hanging you're my out. Golden girls. Yes, oh, tear. I like, I love like <laughs> listening to you guys and being a part of this. Like, you guys are one of my like, I have very few podcasts or people that I hang with, um, or even like do more than a few things with just because time and whatever. But when you guys hit me up. I drop everything and I cut right. So you do because you're flipping yeah, yeah. awesome. And Keisha wants to have a masquerade party somehow in somewhere. So how you and your wife, feel- huh? I just wanted to ask, how do the guys on here? How do y'all feel about that? Having like a masquerade ball for podcasters? I've never <laughs> even heard of it, so that sounds fun to me. I don't know. How yeah, it you works. can bring your wife because I love her. <laughs> I'm not even sure how that works. <laughs> And we can make it annually. Let's do it annually. That'd be good. Yeah. Like that, one, like that, that, that word that I hear that it just sounds nefarious because every time you watch a movie, there's a masquerade ball. There's some kind of either sixth grade freaky deaky thing going on or some villains just killing people. At the I park. would so be a villain. Yes. <laughs> we know. Uh, but anywho. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, no surprise. Nobody was like shocked at all anymore. No, so, no, we're no, still called killer. Like we're not even amazed by it now. Now it's just the fact that you bragging about it is just kind of scary. But anywho, <laughs> uh, yeah, we know. Uh, so no, but real masquerade. It sounds cool. I've never been to one, so I think it's one of those where you put mask on and you kind of get dressed up. Yeah, I think it would be really nice. Oh, yeah, I, I, I kind of feel like that would be some good, some classy. Yeah, really. She cool. can do her fan of the opera deal. Uh, everybody can pretend <laughs> to be scared. <laughs> and then we run into, uh, <laughs> uh, I think people would come if we put it out there and promote it. I think people would definitely come. Yeah, give them something to do. They ain't doing shit else, right? With their lives, they sit on the couch. I feel like you should do it like one of them. Uh, you ever seen them Everest commercials? Like late at night on BT, like you sitting on the couch. I'm doing shit with your life. I come and miss my screen ball. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the person made me want to go to school. I was like, you know what? You right. I ain't doing shit. Look at this. Sitting oh, yeah. I remember those chips. commercials. Mm-hmm. Yeah, remember that black dude who, who never went to school, but he was telling niggas to go to school. <laughs> yep. He was. Right. <laughs> he was. He was. Aggressive. Awesome. 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 We're definitely doing one in 2022. So it's going down. Keisha is behind this, not me. So I, and it's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. Okay. Keisha is behind this. So let's jump over to Chris. Get, get murdered. Thank God. Oh, Chris. Jesus. Hold on, what was that? Oh, what? What? What there is? <laughs> I don't know. So, so we're jumping over to Chris. So I know you already gave us a little insight about the pod that you're creating and working on. 
Um, do you want to drop any teasers about the topics you guys would be talking about over there? Oh, uh, I mean, we like we just want to talk about just the normal. It's like we can go more expansive on like everybody has a conversation as far as relationships and the men, women aspects, but just kind of go into more deeper and it's going to be some hard hitting conversations that we have. And yeah. And you'll definitely uh, have our support <laughs> and because you'll be over here in Wonderland too. So you'll kind of be straddling the fence. Yeah. Straddle in the fence. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy. Just saying, you know. I'm just saying. Looking out for you. All right, Keisha, is there anything you want to leave with the listeners as we embark on 2022 and jumping off our third season on the 26th? Well, I'll say it like TD Jace, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready for 2022 <laughs> episode. <laughs> Yeah, I'm super. I'm super excited about it. Um, we were able to get a lot of topics covered with a lot of insight from so many different people last season, and this season we're just building on what we started. So we talked about traumas, we talked about things that were taboo in some um, aspects, but now we're moving into how do we address what we've learned and where we're going with the information that we learned with those lessons. So. January 26th is when the first episode of season three hits. So you got a couple more um, episodes of the in-betweens um, where you're getting to learn a lot more about the host than you probably ever wanted to know. But at least yeah. you're getting some laughs out of it. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and close out. Thank you all for participating again. Oh, wait, thank I got one more thing. I got one more thing. Oh, wait, I got one yeah. more thing. Awesome. If I can leave people with this, if you got something you want to do, jump off the porch and do it. Um, do not be humble. Do not be uh, scared to do it because uh, you never know what's going to work for you. Um, I know all y'all probably felt this way when y'all started y'all show. But uh, if you got a show you want to start an idea, don't let nobody deter you from that vision. Just do that shit because uh, a lot of people I've been talking to, I've been, what's crazy, I've been uh, a podcast mentor now. So I've been telling people like, hey, do it. Uh, I don't care what your concept is. I don't care what, it is, what you got going on. Just do it. Because the only way you're going to fail is not doing it. So do that shit. All right, right, right. Do everything. I agree. I agree. Be dope with it. And there's so many, there's so many people out here where it's like, well, I don't know. I don't know. Like, there is an audience for everybody. And I oh, want to yeah. shout out to Daryl, Mr. Black Ovation, who's uh, joined the, the chat room. Um, but I wanted to... Just oh, kind of make that statement. All things yeah. black. What's up, Papa? Hey, yeah. <laughs> Not because a lot of people. I, I I had a person who came in my inbox was like, "Oh, my numbers is down, and and I'm not getting the views." I said, "Forget all that. Do it for the passion. Do it for yourself. If one person is watching, or a million people watching, my show is still gonna be the same over the top dopeness you gonna find every week because it's the energy you bring. Eventually, you'll get an audience. Eventually, you'll get those people." But if me in the meantime, do your thing. Like have fun right. with it. Learn, experiment. Um, right. try different things. I mean, you can't lose somebody you ain't never had, you know. That's true. Absolutely. That's true. And it's also a situation of for me, like when when this whole not even this podcast, but my other one too, is like I'm not looking at the analytics and the statistics. You know what I'm saying? I, I look at it in certain ways to say, okay, this is received better or this avenue is received better, but it's not like Oh, I'm not getting them this amount, so I'm stopping because I know if it touches one, two, three people, I'm good. Cause I'm doing it because I enjoy it. I'm not doing it for numbers. I'm doing it because I, I enjoy doing it. Right. So it's like, and I wouldn't have been able to connect with so many people, like Daryl, Darius, Chris, like I I'm I'm ecstatic that I've been able to interact in the plot, especially the black podcast community is so just supportive. You know what I'm saying? So just do it. Like who whatever your concept is, just do it. And I don't know if Daryl can come on the mic, but if you want to grace us with your Yo, can you hear me? Voice. There it is. <laughs> the voice. Woohoo! There it is. The voice. What's going on? 
Happy belated birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday yeah. And happy new year. <laughs> no doubt. All of Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. Appreciate Thank you it. for showing up. You missed the fact that they have identified me as a murderer. No, we we, we Okay, I'm we, leaving. We identified yeah. you as a murderer. <laughs> what the it was what doubt that you confirmed them. Yeah. Why did you why did you get identified as a murderer? They right. said she, who she's was most self implicated herself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> self incriminating. Damn. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. She volunteered the information. We really didn't ask. He was like, so who's doing this? She's like, I'm a killer. I, she was like, oh, uh, geez, okay, she basically went down down the, the Liam Nelson route. Uh, she's like, I have a special set of skills. And a special set of skills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's kill you with this blender <laughs> and a pineapple. All I said was, everybody has it in them. You just have mm. to present the right circumstances. Now I'm a killer. No, you said the right annoying person to kill. That's what you said. But right. Yeah. Right. That's crazy. She's like, let me find a motherfucking annoying enough to bring this out of me. Ah, kill him to death. <laughs> I'm just saying, everybody has it. Kill everybody. him twice. I bring him back to life and kill him again. That's too much work. <laughs> <laughs> That's too much work. All right, all right. Before people start taking this seriously. <laughs> oh, they so. wasn't supposed to. Did you get a laugh? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did anybody catch the laugh at the end? Oh yeah. Before somebody <laughs> take you seriously. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. All right. All right. All right. So, thank everybody who participated, who was in the chat. Um, this was really interesting. Um, yeah. And <laughs> I'm kind of speechless here, so I'll. I'll I'm gonna go ahead and end it now. <laughs> so thank you, Darius. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Daryl. Thank you, Keisha. And thank you, Nicole, um, who was listening. But you guys enjoy the remainder of what is it? Sunday. You guys have me so flustered. I don't even know where we're at right now. What's today? Um, Flurs Day. It's Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Flurs Day. Goddamn Flurs Day. I'm done with you. <laughs> Oh, boy. All right. You guys take care. Stay safe and be well.